Hello there. This is Musa Ajayi. Um, you recall several postings ago, I had mentioned that I'll be torchlighting the Benin monarchy, one monarch at a time. Okay. Uh, this time around, it's going to be by Sigi, who, who ascended the Benin throne in 1504. Um, scholars of history, some scholars of Benin history, insist that so far, 40 kings have ascended the Benin throne, including the present Oba, Oba Iwai II, and of course, counting Oba uh, 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 Romeo, who stayed on the throne for a very short period. For those scholars who refused to count on Romeo because he did not stay long on the kingdom, they insist that there are five kings. Okay. Of course, Romeo came to institute the Oba dynasty. Romeo was the son of Ododua. Ododua was also Izodua. Izodua was Crown Prince Ekaladera, who was the sole heir to the throne of Ogiso Owodo. Ogiso Owodo, of course, was the last Ogiso of the Ogiso dynasty. Of course, Ogiso means kings of the sky. So after a long period of interregnum, uh, Romeo came from Ododua, uh, from Ododua to institute the Oba dynasty. So that's this dynasty we'll be enjoying for the past 40 others. Okay. Um, so I will be touchlighting this time is going to be on Oba Esige. Oba Esige was born Crown Prince Osawe. He was a child of Providence. He was not supposed to be king because he was a second born. He was, only, he was not supposed to be the heir to the throne. But something interesting happened and uh, I will be talking about that. I will be giving it, it will be going to be a robust treatment in future postings. But for now, I'll let that be. Okay. Now, uh, Oba Esige's reign was characterized by very, four very compelling, very interesting occurrences. One had to do with his mother, another one has to do with Imago, a beautiful woman in the kingdom, and how he ended up setting her up because of something that happened. And then after her was uh, the Bini Udo uh, battle, which was quickly quelled by the British, the Portuguese that were doing business with the Benin people at that time. And then of course, after that was um, his uh, conversion to the Catholic faith, you know, um, which resulted in the founding of Holy Arosa Church. Is, I, know, I think Holy Arosa Church is said to be the oldest church, the very first church to be established in West Africa. Uh, they have a curious blend of Christianity and Benin traditional religion. It's still existing till today. All right, so prior to Oba Esige's ascension, queen mothers before Oba Esige's mother used to be buried with their husbands. So. Oba Ozolua, who was Oba Isige's father, and Queen India, his mother. Okay, so Queen India was supposed to be buried with her husband. Why? Because the, fa the king and his mother are said to be of the same level of reverence. And so, since the subjects cannot, <laughs> they cannot serve two masters, so one of them has got to go. Unfortunately, it has to be his mother. But when he came to Oba Isige, he refused to give up his mother because he loved his mother so much. Some scholars even call, irreverently refer, refer to him as mama's boy. So he couldn't imagine his mother suffered the same fate. So he had to have her, he had to, she was hidden somewhere in um, Uselu. Uselu used to be a suburb of Benin, but now, now it's very much part of the Benin center. You know, so he couldn't imagine his mother suffering the same fate. Why would his mother? Mm -mm, he couldn't imagine it. So a sentinel was placed at a place called Five Junction. It still is very much present today. It's actually a thoroughfare. Five Junction is a place where five major streets meet. So when the search party that was organized by the chiefs were getting in on Obaisige's mother, the sentinel would give, make, give a signal and then move the mother to another hiding place, another hiding place. So it was going on and on. And the brother Oba realized that this cat and mouse game cannot continue for too long. Eventually, they're going to fish out his mother. So he asked for an emergency meeting with his chiefs and he told them, What do we do? And they did. So Obai, um, the Iya said, the oldest of the chiefs, the Iya said, the Benin Kingdom said, Your Majesty. We know how hard it is for you to give up your mother, but you have no choice. Then uh, Uli has said, Your Majesty, Queen Mothers before your mother suffer the same fate. Why would she be? Why, why would she be different? I, I'm, I'm saying this with all due respect. You know, even the Sogban said, Your Majesty, some, you have to give up your mother. Well, I mean, who are we to change you know, tradition? 
And so they were going on and on, and then Obai Sige raised up his hand for silence and said, okay, tell you what, I'm willing to give up my mother. Then he said, aha, uh -huh, that's more like it. Oh, but then he has said, we know this is not easy for you. It's not an easy decision to make, but you have to make it. And Obai Sige said, only on one condition will I give up my mother. So yes, if you all will agree that anybody I'm going to be conf that I'm going to confer a chieftaincy title on must give up his mother. Ah, oh, your man, no, 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 your, <laughs> they, they, no, your majesty, no, we can't. Oh, now you, you people now know how it feels. So there were this, yeah, there was a rumbling, grumbling, there was a stare and all. Then the other raised up his hand one more time for silence and then said, ah, because it was a clear case of impasse, where did he go from there? So I said, he has a solution though. He said, okay, um, he will have his mother confined to Uselu. Uselu used to be a suburb of Benin Kingdom, but right now it's very much part of the Benin, you know, city center. It's less than three minutes drive from Benin. So he will have his mother confined and we ensure that she does not interfere with any of the proceedings in the Benin Kingdom. The, then the chief say, yes, well, she has to be banished. To, okay, banished, confined, it really doesn't make a difference. So and that was actually how it, the institution of the uh, Queen Mother's Palace at Uselu came to be. So all Queen Mothers after Abai Sige's mother were all, you know, confined to, were given a special treatment of having their palaces you know, uh, founded at uh, Use, Uselu. And so when they die, the, they will be buried at the at Uselu, uh, at the Uselu Palace, Eguayoba, they call it Queen Mother's Palace. Okay, so that's it for now. My next posting will talk about the st interesting story of Imagwero, wife to, about, uh, or to Oliha of the Benin Kingdom. So you want to know more about it, why don't you touch the subscribe button, you know, like, because I'm sure you like this, like it, like, and then, um, yes, 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 uh, share, okay. This is Nusajai, see you next time.